Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use dynamic resources in .NET MAUI. Dynamic resources allow you to change resources on your project as the project runs. Um, they're similar to setup for static resources that never change, but dynamic resources will allow you to create, say, um, color changes across your, your, your document or word doc changes across your documents. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my existing baseball counter, pitch counter app and use this settings page to change my colors across the whole app. Um, the setup, I'm going to need to modify how I build my colors. I'm going to create a default color. I'm also going to create a reusable variable color that I'll change in my settings page. All right, so let's go to my code, see what I've got. Okay, I currently have <coughs> my colors in colors.xaml. Um, that's fine, but I had trouble with these guys being accessible application-wide when I had it here. So I'm going to move these. So these are all my colors. I'm going to take them out of here. I'm going to put them just in app.xaml inside the resource dictionary. They should have worked the same through this merge dictionary. They just didn't. This team text wasn't accessible. Once I put it here, it was. I'm not sure why. Um, programmers say that a lot. I'm not sure why, but it works. Um, you notice I defaulted the pirate colors. Um, that way, when the program starts, I'll have a set of colors that I like, and then as I change them, I'll go through. All these colors from, come from teamcolorcodes.com. The website there will tell you how they built these colors. I don't own them. Neither the Pirates do and the Astros do, um, but I don't think they'll mind that I use them. Um, of course, the Astros and the Phillies were in the most recent 2022 World Series. Um, I like the Rockies because they're purple and white, and I grew up in Pittsburgh. That's why I changed these colors. So now I'm going to go back to my main page and my settings page. I'm going to change how we have it set up. So I've currently static resourcing to pirate back. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from static resource to dynamic resource. And I'll go team back. In fact, all these static resources in this page have become dynamic resource. I could search and place this. There's not too many of them here. You notice I use team text and team back, and they match my pirate text and pirate back. That way I keep it nice and simple. And if you look at all my colors in app, they all have the same setup, just to keep myself sane. Alright, so I also have to change my styles documents, because I have a bunch of color sets in there. So let's see if I can do this one here. Hit it, find a replace, replace and quick replace. Let's see if this works. Look at that, it works. Okay, so the same thing for pirate back. And team back. Place it all. Okay, so I'm going to run this thing, see if it works. I'm going to pause, of course, so we don't have to sit and wait for um, .NET MAUI to launch. All right, so um, it works. While I was paused, I also set up the dynamic colors for my settings page, so everything's working. So I know it's working because it looked just like it did before. Um, I did not change the colors of these boxes here because those are the colors of the different teams. Um, it was just one way to visualize these. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up so when I click on one of these radio buttons, the colors of the document change to the colors of the team you pick. <clears throat> on my settings page, which I'm on, you'll notice that for each one of these radio buttons, I have a call to check change, and I have a method in the, in the code behind called on team change. So let's take a look at on team change. 
currently empty, except for a comment that I don't use just yet, so I'm going to get rid of that. Basically, a document just popped up as code, I'm going to write. It's a simple if statement. I'm going to check to see if <coughs> um, which particular object was sent, and whichever one is sent, I'll use that color. Now, on each one of those radio buttons, I named them by the team name. So if you look at settings for a second here, and you go up to the Astros, we'll see I have <coughs> the radio button is named Astros. So if we click send or equal Astros, I'm going to set the team text to the Astros text. And this is where I ran into trouble with the colors in the um, colors.xaml file. In order to get this across application, I have to use application.current and it didn't read from the colors file. And I do not know why. So I'm going to set team text and be equal to You'll find a lot online of just resources, and this seems to be the current page. Application.current is across the entire app. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm setting team text colors. So team back. I'm going to do this for each one of them, but I'm going to default to Pirates here. Again, I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm old enough to remember the last time the Pirates were in the World Series. That was nine. It was glorious. We were family then. Okay, I'm going to run it, pause it, and see that it works. All right, so it ran. Let's see if it works. I go to my settings page. I click on Houston Astros. Page turns orange. Page turns orange and come back. Pick Pirates. It's back to black and yellow. All right. So you've seen there that this works. Obviously, I have to do the same thing for each of my other teams, but let me describe why this works. I'm using this variable called team text here, or rather this resource called team text. Team text was used here under this dynamic resource, same as team back. So by changing that in the application, every time it updates and this page reloads, it, re it rebuilds that and pulls the color back in. Um, I don't know about the performance, it seems to be pretty quick. So again, all I have to do now is just repeat for each one of the other ones. Else if senders equal who's else next? Astros Phillies. And then instead of Astros, we do Phillies. Etc. Alright, so you've seen how to use dynamic resources. Um, in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to save your preferences to this device so that when you come back in, the, the team you picked last time is the color that's there on the screen. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck and stay safe.